Hi everybody, this is Peter Watts from Kirkland, Washington, and this is my Bible story. Well, I grew up a uh, Protestant evangelical, and like a lot of evangelicals, I was taught that the Bible is the Word of God. And that meant that the Bible did not have any errors, and that the Bible uh, had no contradictions, at least no meaningful ones, no real ones, I was taught. That meant that all of the biblical authors were saying essentially the same thing about God and describing God in similar ways. Well, that worked for me. That view worked for me, like a lot of Christians, for a lot of years. I got involved in my youth group back in high school. I became a youth intern, eventually at a different church, uh, became a youth pastor. I went away to a Bible college, and all of that time, I spent almost uh, a daily amount of time reading the Bible, studying the Bible, meditating on the Bible. I stayed involved in ministry. In fact, I still do some uh, church work now. But I came to this point in my life where that framework just stopped working. And the season of life that it ended up changing is when I spent a, a concentrated time on the life of Jesus. I spent time reading about his life, studying, reading scholars like N.T. Wright. Eventually I landed on Pete Enns and I read a lot of Brian McLaren and Rob Bell, Rachel Held Evans and a few others and Greg Boyd. And what I began to discover is that what we see in Jesus's life seems to be, at least on some level, a stark contrast to some of the portraits of God we find in other parts of the Bible. Well, obviously this posed some challenges for someone who grew up with the biblical inerrancy view. It changed my relationship with the Bible. It posed a threat on some level to my theology because I couldn't hold it all together. I thought I had to, all the biblical authors had to say the same thing about God. They couldn't be saying anything different or my whole faith falls apart. That's what many people are taught. But over time, I th and I think that this is the goodness of God showing up in my life, I, f I came to this place where I saw the diversity in the biblical author's views, not as a threat to my faith, but as something that uh, complements my faith. Because none of us have a revelation of God that's perfect, even the biblical authors. And what it said to me is that God is the kind of God that works with where people are at, not with where they're not at. He works with their culture, their perceptions, and, and their misperceptions, and He loves them, and He's in relationship with them. And I'm, I'm saying He, I don't believe God is male, but the point is, is that God works with people where they're at. And for me, that was good news. Not only was it good news that I found uh, something more beautiful in the life and in the person of Jesus, a revelation of God that was amazing and incredible. But I also found this good news in the entirety of the Bible, that God is the kind of God that meets us where we're at. And that's good news. That's the kind of God I would want to share with others. Well, hopefully this blessed you. Take care.